Hi there guys, my name is John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm going to be taking you through a full review of the Withings Steel HR. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you in the description below there's links to retailers that have got live pricing so check those out because you'll get a great deal at the moment. So the Withings Steel HR was sent to me by Withings for uh, this review, it was sent free of charge. What I've decided to do is give it away to someone that's watched this video. So if you want to check out activejr.com forward slash win and leave your details, on the 8th of June I'll pick up random uh, a winner and I will ship this product to them uh, free of charge. So if you check that out, um, uh, you have the chance to win a Withing Steel HR uh, valued at $149.99. So thanks very much, let's get straight into the video. Withings Steel HR comes in two sizes. It comes in a 37mm and a 40mm. Now the one feature in this review is the 40mm, uh, but the uh, pricing is around 139 um, British pounds in the UK, about 145 US dollars in the US, and about 150 uh, euro uh, throughout Europe. Uh, prices do change, please check them out. And again, uh, the is links in the description below with up-to-date uh, pricing for retailers. Starting with the design of the Within Steel HR, it's made of a stainless steel body and that fully goes around the device. You've also got a glass screen with an analogue display with a small uh, digital screen at the top. Now I found this is quite easy to see, uh, both in um, uh, sunlight and also dark conditions, so I think that works really well. Uh, the Within Steel HR also features an optical HR sensor. Now this is not 24 by 7, it only samples your heart rate data every 10 minutes or so. So it does give you a relatively accurate HR picture and a calories burn. However, it's not um, uh, something that's gonna be as accurate, say, as a Garmin Phoenix 5 or a Charge 2. Um, however, during an exercise, it does track your heart rate every second. And now looking at the band, it's made of a silicon material with a stainless steel buckle. Now I found this really comfortable, it's really easy to wear and really easy to put on. However, I do find it a little bit cheap because it is a little light. I like my bands thick and heavy um, to feel like I've got the watch on. So if you are someone that wants that type of band, then maybe you need to swap it out. And Withings do offer a number of replacement bands and they are easily to change. The Wibby Steel HR is not a touch screen because it has got an analog uh, display with a digital uh, screen um, at the top. You can see at a glance uh, information such as calories, uh, steps taken, distance travelled and various different other things. However, it doesn't work on gestures, so if you do raise your wrist, it won't turn on. You do need to press that button, which I think is a bit of an annoyance if you just want to have a click glance. However, uh, because you can't touch the screen and it, it only presents the first option, uh, you still have to touch that button. So I think that's the way uh, women's made this, but if you are used to the device where you, uh, where you raise your wrist, then um, I don't think this is a great choice for you. In terms of um, uh, wearability, I found it's really comfortable uh, to wear. It is lightweight, so if you are uh, someone that wants a watch um, uh, that feels like you're wearing a watch, then maybe this is not the watch for you. However, if you are uh, someone that wants a lightweight watch and wants something that uh, blends in and discreet, then this is a great choice. You also, as well, get a great battery life with this device. It's got 25 days, and I found real world usage. I'm getting about 20 to 21 days, so I think that's really good. It's not as good as the Active Eat Pop, which is up to six months, uh, but it's certainly a great choice if you want something you don't want to be charging all the time. So um, I think it's a great battery life and a great product. In terms of charging, there's one thing that I think was a real disappointment. The charging cradle is very flimsy and you have to align the two uh, circles against the two circles on the charging device and it only takes a slight knock to knock it off charge. So if you put it on charge and uh, you've, uh, you've walked away and you've slightly knocked it, you, uh, you could take it off and you find when you come back to your device it's not charged. Uh, I don't think it's a great loss unless you have got uh, a very low battery given the big battery life of this device. However, I think Withings do need to improve on this in the future. Moving on to the fitness features, it tracks things like walking, running and swimming and uh, some basic cardio. It won't track biking activity because it doesn't have a built-in GPS and I found uh, running and walking is fairly accurate with, uh, with uh, comparing to other GPS devices. 
Um, however, um, uh, it is still prone to error because it is based on um, uh, steps and also uh, sensors within the device so you don't get a full GPS lock at all. Uh, Steel HR can be used for swimming and it's waterproof to 50 metres so you don't have to worry about if you want to step into the shower or you get it wet or you jump into the pool. Out of all the fitness trackers I've tested, this is the simplest to use in terms of fitness tracking. All you do is long press the button uh, to start the activity and you long press to start. There's no other interaction required and all the uh, data is then transferred to the app. Uh, the device also tracks uh, sleep and I found this uh, pretty good. Uh, comparing it to other devices, uh, I think they're all as accurate as each other. I don't think the uh, technology or the software behind that is quite there yet. However, just uh, track your sleep and you do get uh, a load of information uh, when you look at the app. You can't look at the, any information on the uh, Women Steel HR, however, regarding your sleep. Okay, so a summary of the, uh, the fitness features. We used it for a variety of different activities. And the calorie burn is just uh, about there. And also uh, the steps and uh, the distance traveled uh, is pretty accurate as well. However, uh, it is lacking in the app itself. Uh, so if you want detailed information, you're not gonna get that. Uh, you will get a basic overview of your day and the activity you've been doing. But if you want more detailed information, you may need to go for other uh, fitness device. Going to smart notifications in the app. So uh, smart notifications are, are very simple on the device. You get call, text and calendar alerts and it's, it's simply uh, the name of the person or a quick summary of what it is. Uh, you can't read uh, the, uh, the text notifications or the calendar alert and you certainly can't answer any calls. Um, so I, I found this um, not really good because if you are going to have call and text alerts, you do want to have a quick glance of what the what the text uh, contains uh, whereas this it just gives you a um, at the name of the person you still have to pick your phone up whereas with other devices you've got the option of uh, seeing the first couple of lines and deciding whether you need to pick your device up and have a look uh, so but uh, given it's such a small screen i don't think withings could do anything different here um, so i tend to uh, when i was using the device not to have these on because it was frustrating so moving on to the app the, the app itself is, um, I think, a pretty good app. It's not the best app out there. Uh, however, it does give you uh, information at a glance. I have found it syncs pretty quick um, uh, to the device. Um, so uh, you haven't got a lot of waiting about like you do with uh, some other uh, fitness apps. Uh, it does give you a lot of information. Um, but I don't think if you are someone that's a, a, a serious uh, athlete or someone that's serious about the fitness, it's going to be enough for you. But if you are starting out with fitness or you are someone that just wants something that's easy to use, then this is a great app. Or if you're someone that's already got a number of Withings products, like the Withings uh, Wayne Scales or the Withings um, uh, Sleep Sensors, then it all integrates really well and it, all gives, it gives you a very good picture of your overall health and uh, your movements throughout the day. Okay, just to summarise, the things that I like about the device, the battery life is impressive, it's up to 25 days and a real world usage I found about 21 days. Um, it's a really nice design, it's very discreet and I really like that and it's also simple to use so you don't really need to do much with using this device other than uh, start an activity or stop an activity and all the div uh, data is on the app. The things I don't like about the device, it's got limited fitness tracking, so uh, if you are wanting to get on your bike, it won't track that. It's also got no GPS, so I think this, um, whilst is a big miss by Withings, it's not something that I think they, they wanted to put in this device, but it does like GPS. And uh, the app could be better. I think uh, for someone who's really serious about the fitness, then uh, this app uh, will be seen lacking by uh, those individuals. And sometimes it's confusing as well at uh, the information that's displayed. So I'm giving this device a four out of five. This is a good device. It's well made and uh, it's a good premium product by Withings. I don't think it will suit everybody. So someone that's wanting a fitness watch that is a fitness watch and looks like a fitness watch, it's not for those people. It's for those people that are wanting a good balance between something they can wear in the office, on a night out or in the gym. I think this is a great watch for them. As I've already mentioned, it does lack GPS and it does lack some of the more advanced fitness tracking. It also can't connect to any external sensors. So I think, uh, you know, if you are looking for a simple, really nice built uh, fitness watch that you can change the bands and customize, then I think this is a great option for you. 
So thanks very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also if you've got a comment, if you've got one of these or you're thinking about buying one, quite happy to help out. So leave a comment and I will reply. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.